Traders War Room wants to thank you, the viewer, for coming along with us on this journey. Please check out the description tab as it has an overview of content on the channel and some links for resources and online brokerage. Thank you. What is up team? Chuck with Traders War Room and I'm back at you with another video. Listen, this is your Friday wrap up, okay? The market is a wrap. It's closed. I'm going to enjoy my weekend. I got some pizza lined up. I'm going to watch a movie with the kids and I'm going to get back into the books and kind of do a lessons learned approach. Okay. What I did good, what I did bad, take it all in and come back ready to attack, destroy and conquer on Monday. Okay. Listen, I suggest you guys do the same. I need you guys to like, share, subscribe this channel, join us in Facebook, Discord, Twitter, one of those avenues. Okay. And come with us on this journey. And as always, if you're ready, Follow me and let's go to war. Traders War Room wants to remind everyone that all content on this channel is for entertainment and education purposes only. We are not financial advisors or consultants and everyone is responsible for their own decisions and their own actions with the stock market all right welcome back team this i'm not going to take a lot of your time but let's get right into it okay i want to share my portfolio and see how we did today in this past week okay it may not be pretty but you know what it's transparent and i want you guys to understand success and failures it comes with the game all right so let's get into my portfolio all right looking at my daily i'm up 71 dollars and 60 cents about 0.92 percent this was because of a quick money play that i did with a call option on facebook early in the morning got in got out made some quick money to help out my account because it definitely took a tank later in the day as you see this in my weekly i'm still down 342 dollars i'm still recovering but i got some ideas that i think will help me catapult next week and then getting back into the green and recovering some of my losses from the past two weeks of bloodbath all right, as you see, I got some recovery still going on, all right? But listen, I got some ideas on what's gonna be hot next week, okay? I seen some indicators. I was paying attention to the market and seeing what it was doing. So I'm gonna talk about what I think will do fairly well next week and what I am trying to eyeball based on sentiment and the market knowledge I have and kind of my hopes and dreams actually because it's all a gamble at some point, right? So let's check what I think is gonna happen with the market and some of the sectors and stocks I'm paying attention to. So first things first, I'm looking at sector performance and I wanna check out what's been hot, what's and what's not. And I'm looking at the, you know, the last percent change, the one day and the five day to see what I got going on. Give me an idea for next week. Head over to the futures, check to see what futures are predicting. I see that gold's supposed to be up, oil's supposed to be up. A lot of times, the oil and the gold sector, gold, you'll see some of the mining stuff pop. And with the oil sector, you know, it's just a gamble. But a lot of times, oil, petroleum, and the gas-related products, those things will start to trend up when the futures are high. So we're looking at the one day best performing industries. I'm looking at renewable energy. I see real estate, natural gas, biotech, leisure products, and especially retailers. Now, the reason why I'm showing you the five day, and I'm also gonna go through the one month and three months, because I want you to look at some of the trends and see what some of them in the top five, top six pop up more than one time. And maybe they can give us an idea of what might be popping next week or even further down the road. So right here, going off the one day, five day, and month now, I'm starting to notice a little trend, especially retailers. I'm seeing oil and gas, passenger transportation services. So these are things that are piquing my interest and they've also been trending in the media. So sentiment is high and it looks like maybe these might be something I need to start looking into for next week. Again, this isn't the first time I've seen uranium. I'm looking at passenger transportation again, especially retailers, oil and gas. So that's gonna kind of decide on some of my stocks that I'm gonna be looking at and gonna be comparing in just a second. So one thing I'm invested in, I'm looking hard in the next week for recoveries, financials. Okay, look at the charts. I got Bank of America, Wells Fargo for here to compare. Charts look pretty similar. And as we see, they've been on the incline overall, but they definitely took a decline in the past few days. I am hoping for recovery. And I also 
really am bullish on Wells Fargo coming in the next week. So we'll see. Two of my favorite oil stocks. Look, I like Exxon and I like Chevron. And you see the charts look about the same. It took a beating, okay? They're due for some recovery. And the futures you saw earlier look like they were pointing towards a positive week. So only time will tell, but bullish on fuel, gasoline, Exxon and Chevron next week. Again, I like Murphy Oil and I like BP next week and the week after that. So I'm going to be paying attention to these. And if I see opportunities in the market, I'm going to hop in full steam. So we saw in that trending report, the passenger transportation. We'll look at Delta Air and United Airlines, okay? Been on an upswing, kind of hitting a little consolidation right now. Could possibly be looking for a breakout. And that's what I'm hoping next week to see a breakout and be able to possibly make some money on these two individual stocks. And you already know that I'm bullish on Ford. I like Ford, and Ford's always going to be in my hopes and dreams for popping up, but they're due, okay? I got some call options, and I got some stock in Ford, and I want it to rise next week, and I'm bullish on Ford. GM, you know, GM looks like it's consolidating. Probably would be a good week for GM next week unless to get some negative sentiment, so we'll have to see on GM. All right, up next... I got the segment that I really enjoy and I'm having a lot of fun with it, okay? You pick it, I buy it, all right? I'm going to give you five stocks I've already vetted. Out of those five stocks, you're going to pick the one that I'm going to put $100 in on Monday, all right? Get me a good one. I don't mind any one of the five stocks. I've already decided that I'd be okay with purchasing, all right? So just give me a good one. Look at the stocks. Do some due diligence of your own. And if you don't know much about that stock, maybe a new sector, hey, you just might have found an idea for you to hop in on Monday too. So before that though, we're gonna review the three that we've done previously, and then we're gonna get into the new five picks. So let's get with it. All right, our first pick was OPK. And as you see, we're up $5.42, not too bad. Got no plans of letting this one go at this time. Torch, we're down $4.20, about 4.31%. At this time, it doesn't hit my criteria to exit out, so we're going to roll with this one. All right, OPTT. Okay, we're down 10% on this one. Now I'm going to consider getting rid of this one next week. So depending on what it does next week, this might be one of the positions that we exit out at that between negative 10 and negative 15%. So we'll make that decision next week and see what we got. All right, and as promised, you pick them, I buy it. So check out the five stocks, and we're going to go in a little quick DD. This is a new part, but I want to make sure you guys know what type of stocks these are and give you guys ideas into sectors that you may want to look towards weeks to come. All right, a little DD on SNES. Okay, you see it's in the biotech industry. All right, I like this stock. I'd be cool with you guys picking this one, so we'll see. CTHR. Now, I actually really like the stock, okay? Apparel and accessories. This is in the jewel department, okay? And what they do is they make those laboratory diamonds that have recently been made public awareness that there's no real difference between a natural diamond and a laboratory diamond. When you look at them in a microscope and do the research, they are the same thing. So, with this new generation, laboratory diamonds are actually starting to pick up steam and they're not as taboo as in my generation and before. So this one would be all right too. I'm big in this aerospace and defense and I picked this one based off the chart and also with this North Korea and the United States and China and Iran type of drama that's going on right now, aerospace and defense could be a good thing here in the near future. You never know. This is one of them that's been popping. It was in the uranium sector. If you noticed when we went over the different sectors in the day, five day, month, and three months, uranium popped up almost every single time. So I'm bullish on this one. This one is a good stock. I got high hopes for this industry next week and in coming weeks with all the recovery that's going to be going on. So this is airport operators and transportation infrastructure. I believe that this stock will do very well in the near future all right so before we wrap it up i want to give you a provoking thought content type of topic i want you guys to think about this okay 
if you, all your money's wrapped up in the stock market and the stock tanks, okay, will you have money to reposition yourself on red days? I want you to pay attention to that, okay? Part of the stock market and another position that you may not think of is having cash on the side, all right? It is a position. I want you guys to make sure that you guys have cash on the side because if we do get another market correction or we dip even further, you need to have some money on the side so that you can reposition your portfolio, you can buy on dips, and you can make sure that you average down on certain stocks that you want to have long-term, okay? It's important. So make sure you got some dry powder on the side and that you're ready for any type of market conditions that we have, red or green, okay? Green is great. We all like a bull market. But in a bear market, you need to make sure that you have money so you can ride it out or you put things into safer positions so that they don't take as big of a dive, okay? So I want you to think about that as we go on the weekend and we come into next week and we see what we got. All right, and that's a wrap, okay? Look, hey, this weekend, March Madness, we got some tournaments kicking off, all right? You already see the team I'm going for, all right? KU, that's my team, all right? Women's basketball's out there as well, so get out there, look at some sports, pay attention. I think there's a UFC fight on, okay? I'm gonna be paying attention to that. One of my passions, as you know, is MMA. So I got a lot going on this weekend, and I want you guys to have some fun too and put some of the stock market woes and all on your mind. I wanted you to put it at ease, all right, and just kind of relax. Because here at Traders War Room, we look at the stock market like a war zone. Stocks and sectors, those are our battles. We're attacking, we're destroying, we're conquering, we're reconning, we're surveying, we're making sure we get the best opportunity, bang for our buck, so that when we attack, we got the highest probability of success. But we also need to recharge our minds, okay? And that's what the weekend's all about. So, as always, if you're ready, follow me, and let's go to war.